Okay, I'm going to try to talk soft because this iMac microphone is really harsh. Uh, this is the page that I like using in Adobe Audition, and it's called Mastering and Analysis. Uh, here's what the classic looks like. Classic, I, I love this right here. I love, it's called Properties and uh, Effects Rack. I like that. Files, I don't really understand that yet. Um, so Classic is good. Uh, default. Default has too much information over here. I, I just don't care about all this. Maybe if I'm doing video. Um, yeah, so uh, so when you kind of go through all these, you see the different the different screens. But mastering analysis, I, I like it. You've got this phase meter down here, you got this meter here, you got two transports in case you don't want to go all the way over here. You can just go here. Um, but you have to come to this window and you have to add properties. That's my, I like that one a lot. And then you have to add oop window and you have to add the effects rack. The effects rack, it's important if you're recording with headphones your, yourself to take the effects off. Otherwise you'll get latency issues. So if that's driving you crazy, turn off all the effects. And so that's what I like to see. Now watch this, ready? Watch this. I shrink it. Boom, <laughs> leaves it up. Just in case like I want to use it in iPhoto or if I want to put some effects in my script writing when I'm using Final Draft or, or if I'm on, you know, surfing the internet and I need a metronome, um, it, it, it leaves it up there. Uh, so if anybody out there knows how to make it so this kind of becomes permanent with this template where I can do this and uh, it all just disappears at one click of a yellow button, um, Boy, that sure would be great.